What's up, guys? This is Loading TV here. We're going to be doing a review today of Bioshock 2. We did an unboxing in our first season. Check that out. We'll put the link in the sidebar there. So, everyone, sound off. Let's go. What's up, guys? So, What's up? What's up? Yep. We're here again today. This is our second episode of season two. And we're going to start things off with the Bioshock review. So, let's go. All right, now we're going to start things off with gameplay, and we're going to head to Leggy. And Leggy, I just want to know, what did you think about the dual-wield aspect? Uh, personally, I like the dual-wield aspect a lot better than the first game. Just the fact that you have uh, both plasmid and gun on one hand is just, it's, it's a lot simpler. Uh, just the idea of switching back and forth wasn't really uh, too much of a, uh, it wasn't very easy in a sense. And this just puts everything at your fingertips. You're able to uh, execute kills a lot easier and such. All right, and uh, uh, we're going to talk about limited capability now, like the underwater aspects, and that's going to be Skepis in the back here, or, sl or Slip okay. Jab. Go ahead. Um, well, I found that they had a lot of potential with the underwater scenes, but they didn't really use it. The fact that your plasmid and your guns disappeared while walking was like almost like a what-the-hell moment. Like, you had, they had so much potential of putting unique fights and unique um, villains inside the water that they just wasted. I just found that that was either, you know what, why did you even put that in there to begin with? So, I found it almost useless. Okay, and Matt, well, what, do you, uh, what do you feel about the bosses or lack thereof? Well, the big thing is there is a lack of bosses. Uh, the only real boss you'll encounter in the entire game is the Big Sisters. But the Big Sisters are coordinated and they aren't, they aren't randomly placed. Which really takes away from the surprise element. Basically, Bioshock 1, it was all like really scary and suspenseful. And this one really isn't suspenseful and it's, you kind of expect it to come, you know what I mean? Alright, cool. And uh, I just want to add in about the hacking system. The new one felt it way easier, way, way more. I felt it better than the first one. With the first one I had those pipe things. I didn't really like those. You guys didn't really like those either, right? No, I don't know. Yeah. So it's this good. one just much easier, smoother. You walk around. Yeah, and it just it made it more realistic. Simpler in the end, basically. You were able to uh, you were able to fight people off while hacking, which actually made it more realistic mm -hmm. in a sense. Where you, in the other one, you would just pause the entire life. And uh, just to touch upon the music a bit, I I really enjoyed. It. I like the again Bioshock delivered. You know, it's basically the, what you've heard in the first one is here again in the second. It's just. Another musical score, and it's great. And the the special edition comes with the albums and everything. I just think it's an excellent uh, so, little side note there, a little side thing to have when you're playing the game. And uh, Leggy wanted to talk about uh, the plasmids in the game. And Leggy, take it away. This is a... Well, what I believe is, I mean, you know, you brought... Uh, this is a sequel. You brought new elements to the game in terms of weapons. Now <coughs> I'm hoping for plasmids. Well, we got the plasmids. We got Incinerate. We got Winter Blast. We got our originals, but the new ones that we got weren't very original. It was something, it was kind of like, you know, one of those low budget, kind of straight to DVD kind of feel things with the, with yeah, the new definitely. plasmids. It wasn't, uh, it was lacking the creative aspect, and that's one thing that I kind of, you know, kind of got me off the game a little. Yeah, it's a little only, disappointing. The only real one I found was uh, Eleanor Call. Yeah. I didn't even use that one. <laughs> it was useless for me. All right, now we're moving on to story, and this is just going to be a spoiler-free thing here. We're just going to give our own opinions about it. So, just guys, chime in. Uh, what did you guys feel about it overall? Anyone want to start with anything? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, All right, Matt, go ahead. I would just like to start with it, talking about the actual character you play with as the big daddy. Uh, I really don't understand why the prototype is stronger than every other big daddy. Wouldn't it make more sense for every big daddy to be stronger than the prototype? Actually, you know, I actually found it interesting that you were a prototype as opposed to just an average big daddy. It, came, it was almost like a uniqueness. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. That yeah. was a big thing about it. I really enjoyed that as well. Yeah, that's... A, but that's I get what Matt is saying about how... Oh, yeah, I know. He it thinks... It definitely did bring new features to the to the table, though. Yeah. It, it brought some very interesting new features, like the drill. Mm -hmm. uh, that I found that extremely satisfactory yeah. to kill people. Oh, that was uh, amazing. Uh, I would just like to say... Um, there's not even a point to having a second uh, game. Uh, everything was tied up in the first one. It was a masterpiece, so it was perfect. You know, just to make a second one is kind of pointless. But I guess if you're looking for something to play, then it's then the story is pretty good. I I disagree at some point. I think it was uh it was pretty it was a, it was a good good sequel, right? Like you know, and it was a good sequel, right? You know, um, 
it just it's more of a side story to me, if anything, it feels like. But it's still, I felt it to be a good story. You're just trying to find, you know, your main little sister, as like you, you'll see if you play it. Yeah. And yeah. I just felt it to be a good story for my book. Yeah, my don't books. get me wrong. It's not, it's not a bad story. I just find that the first one was perfect, and to make a second one doesn't really make sense. Just one thing. We all beat it here. Do you guys... And like anything disappointments or anything with it? We won't give anything away just to say. Just there were opinions. some disappointments, but overall I found it to be, you know, like really good. But there like I do believe the pros outweigh the cons. Yeah, totally agree. Anything like you got anything? I liked it. I mean, I just there were some aspects of it. I mean, some parts of the story were lagging a little bit. There was uh, some lack of excitement at some points, and that's just about it. Alright, cool. Yeah. Alright, next up is uh, graphics, and we're just gonna touch upon stuff better. Just want to start things off with the art style, guys. Did you do in? Did you guys like the art style? Do you guys like where the game went with it? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it, it suited its suited its style and it suited the underground unknown motif. You know, it gave it, it gave the environment that they were looking for. Definitely. Yeah. Again, yeah. like the '50s '60s era thing was really really nicely done. I felt very unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rapture Although, still detains its uh, its originality and creativity. Just more decrepit now because the game takes place later on, and right? The only problem I have with the graphics is they made a. Uh, the writing a lot smaller, which made it really hard to read. Yeah, that I found. Yeah. Yes. Especially on my plasma, it was very hard. But to overall, see. Like, overall, textures, the environments was very well done. Just look at Bioshock One; it's basically the same, but it's still always it's just as great. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna just wrap things up now with uh, the online and our final scores. First of all, the online guys, new game modes, new everything, and how do you guys enjoy it? We all play it now. So, what do you guys think about it? I thought it was an interesting aspect uh, compared from the first one. And you know what? It definitely didn't take away from the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It was a just a nice little add-on thing. It was, works really the well. The whole basically. apartment thing was very visually yeah. I love that whole aspect. Yeah, and Capture the Little Sister, great idea. And everything is really fun and addictive. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to move on to the final scores. Leggy, score? Nine. I definitely give it a nine. All right, slip. Nine. All right, and I'm going to give it a nine, too. So, nines across the board, guys. Well, thanks for tuning into our first review here make sure you for subscribe. season two make sure you subscribe and yeah thanks we'll see you guys later see ya